Hi everyone! Today I'm going to do a tutorial on glass etching. I purchased this frame at Hobby Lobby and actually I didn't pay the full $13.99. I actually got it on the clearance section. Um, I probably paid five dollars. But um, I figured if you etch on regular glass, why not etch on the actual picture frame glass itself. So just take out the glass and we're going to see if we can put a little monkey on here. I have a great niece that is having a girl and she is doing like the sock monkey thing. So I thought this pretty pink frame would be perfect for a little girl. So I got out my gypsy and I found the sock monkey on Biz for Boy. I just wanted the little silhouette of the monkey. So I actually hid, see those gray outlines? I hid where the layers would go. And I did it like an inch and a half. I just want it in the right corner of the frame, somewhere in here. So when she puts the picture of the beautiful little girl in there, that you can still see her. So I'm going to cut this out with a vinyl. And actually, I think I'm going to flip it, make his the little sock monkey's tail be on the right-hand side instead of the left. So I'm going to click the Advanced tab. And then I'm going to um, hit this little icon button here. That is to uh, flip the image. So let's see if it'll do that. Let me highlight the image. And we're going to flip it. That easy. So... I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Okay, now I'm, I have a piece of scrap brown vinyl in my Cricut. You can tell it's a scrap, all the little cuts and things. But I only need a small piece um, for this little monkey, which measures about an inch and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I have my gypsy attached to my machine. And we're going to cut it out. And again, I'm just using the silhouette of the monkey. Um, with the little hat on, the sock monkey. It will take but a minute to cut it, and I have my settings on medium and medium for the vinyl. And I think we're finished. We'll unload the mat and see what it looks like. May have to make it a little bigger. But can you see that? I'm not sure if you can. Now you can see it. See the little monkey? I think that's big enough. I don't want it too big. I don't want it to obscure the picture of the baby at all. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've thoroughly cleaned the glass and I reinserted it back into the frame so I know exactly where I wanted the little um, etching to be because you know on some frames they have this little lip and that would um, I didn't want it to be up under there, the little etching itself. So I'm going to take it out I cleaned it with alcohol, make sure all the grease is off, and now I just need to make sure it's burnished down really well where the etch I want the etching to be because you don't want that etching cream to get underneath the um, use the lid of etching cream. You don't want the etching cream to get up underneath the stencil itself. You essentially made a stencil. You use the negative from the cutout. And here's the actual monkey. I only want I don't I don't want the positive. I want the negative. And um, I use uh, Armor Etch etching cream. You can get it at any local uh, crafting store. It's pretty expensive, but uh, you know they have a lot of coupons out there you can use. And I use these throwaway brushes. You can get them like ten to for a dollar. I keep them around for the kids to play and and paint with. Um, I have a paint studio also. So let's see if we get this etched. It takes very little time. Um, shake up the etching cream really well. And just kind of, um, you don't paint it because you don't want it to go up under the edge if you didn't burnish it well enough. Just kind of daub it on. You want a thick coat, fairly thick. And you only have to leave it on like five minutes. You don't need to leave it on longer. You just want the image to be like a little ghosty, shadowy image. We'll call this my little ghost monkey. Okay, 
And there you go. I'm going to leave it on for five minutes and I will be back and show you the finished project. Okay. I have rinsed it off and I reassembled the frame. I don't have a picture in it, but I hope you can see that. Look how cute that is. You see my chandelier in my kitchen. But look how cute that is. Let me turn it up this way. I think she's going to love it. Give this a try. It's Glass etching is so easy. Um, all you need is a stencil and some glass etching cream and a piece of glass to work on. Uh, give it a try. See you later. Bye.